Yo! What's up? My name's Corey Duffel. Let me tell you something about my favorite skateboarder. His name is Ethan Fowler. Tells, like I said, pretty obvious. Back lips, you know, like he put the dark side in back side. Nobody has a better back lip than Ethan. has a better tray flip. Nobody has a better front side ollie. Me personally, I think he's the most stylish guy and I was lucky enough to go on trips with him, watch him skate in person. Some of my favorite tricks he would do is he did a tail slide down maybe like an eight stair rail. But the fact he was like tail sliding with his... He was like vertical, like blunt slide position. Nobody else tail slides like that. Nobody. Just the way he tray flipped, it's such a unique looking 360 flip. Occasionally he would do these like mob ass kick flips. Another time you would see him do fucking sickest kickflip. Ten Cam Folklore, I think is my favorite video part of his. Ah, it's like it's kind of like a toss-up. That and um Nervous Breakdown, the foundation video. The fact he skated to Sid Barrett and when he comes on stage, not on stage, when he comes into the scene or the video part, whatever you want to call it. Wearing the t-shirt that says Disco Kid. And that first line he does, he does a kick flip down the stairs, back lip the nine, all the way down the stairs, and the back three, or the back three, and then the Ollie. And he does this little Ollie down the next set. And the way that starts off the video part, it's just fucking so beautiful. It's utterly amazing. <laughs> Just him skating, you know, it wasn't like, hey, I'm gonna go make the most epic video part ever. And that's what's so rad about Ethan. He just skated. There's something to be said about that. You have some guys who try so hard to make these like epic parts, but comes across as just kind of rubbish. Was Ethan was such info info <laughs> with Ethan, he was improvising so much. It was such jazz. His skating was so jazzful. I mean, watching him do lines occasionally, then like the That's Life days, Koreatown and Chinatown, somewhere in LA, he was just putting these lines together and it's so perfectly not perfect. <laughs> this one's funny. So, the first tour I ever went on with Ethan, we went up to the Pacific Northwest. He had just moved back from Portland to San Diego. But anyways, we were at Snoqualmie Falls where they filmed Twin Peaks. We went there as, as like a like, little epic side mission, which was totally cool. But I came out wearing white pants and beetle boots, you know, like floor shine boots. Ethan comes up to me, he's like, hey, I wear white pants. You don't wear white pants. I wear boots. You don't wear boots. <laughs> To hear that, I think I was like 17 at the time. Yeah, I was 17 for sure. But like, having my favorite skateboard 
tell me what I could and couldn't wear. And it's kind of like, nah, nah, piss off, dude. But that was such an Ethan move. Like I said, he was such like an arrogant, just somebody from like another planet. He just wasn't a typical skateboarder. And that's clearly why I liked him so much too. He was a jerk, but also the best. So just skating with him, it motivated me so much more. I know he hated when I skated with him because, you know, I'd be so jazzed. I'm like, I gotta do some tricks. And it drove him nuts because, you know, I was so stoked. But what he didn't realize is I was trying to, I don't, not show off, but like I wanted to show him that I deserved to be on the same team with him. And I know he was like, damn it, this goddamn kid is gonna do the backflip I'm gonna do. And it sucks because at the same time, I I think he was kind of a, a bit bummed on me. But like I said, it was just because he was my favorite, you know? Like I was so stoked to be skating with him. And, um, Okay, so this one time we were in Japan, he back lips this, it's like a massive 12 star rail. I remember Ethan coming up to me and he just goes, no, this is mine. Corey, you sit down. And he ended up back lip this rail, I don't know, I wanna say like second try, maybe third go. Does it so damn good. Does maybe like four more of them. But I love the fact that he just looked at me and he's like, you, sit down, this is mine, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> It was so sick. I was so stoked to see it. And then like, there were days like that where he was just in the best mood and being around him and seeing Ethan Fowler, you know, like make history or just skate or just be Ethan, whatever it means, was such an incredible experience for me to see. So, we had, Ethan and I, we had some ups and downs, but something I hold to my heart dearly, one time he told me, he goes, you have one of the best top five 360 flips in skateboarding, and here and that, wow, that was cool, because he's got the best trade flip ever, him and Jason Lee. <laughs> favorite lines of all time. Pier 7. There's two lines at Pier 7, but we're going to talk about the one in Deluxe right on. He does a blunt slide at Pier 7 and the way the tires bark. He does that, then he does a manual, and he does a manual back 180, and the way he does the manual back 180, god damn it looks good. I don't know if you know how hard the manual back 180 is, and especially to make it look that good, yeah, you try to do it, you can't. It's just not possible. He does the other line at Pier 7 too, with the back nose bump fakey, once again, that noise, ah, oh, it's so sick. All that SF Ethan era footage, skating Union Square at night, Pier 7, just around downtown. It's seriously a magical time in skating. And that stuff totally inspired me. Like I said, it's, it's real obvious if you think about it, when you look at my trick selection and you look at the way I skate, I think a huge part of it is definitely me watching Ethan skate a lot as a kid. I mean, his video parts were on you know, repeat. I still watch him to this day. When I go skate, I still put on um, Tin Can Folklore. That's one of those video parts I just get hyped on. 
but to be taught how to drive a stick shift car from Ethan, that was definitely another highlight, you know, for me. It was pretty cool. And driving an Audi in Germany with him, Autobahn, and that was still when you could go fast. So, I mean, it was fucking epic. Traveling with Ethan for, you know, many, many different trips was definitely a, a cool experience. You know, looking back now, it's, it's pretty amazing to think that I got to spend so much time with the guy I looked up to most as a kid. Um, my all-time favorite skateboarder, and I was able to maybe call him a friend. I called him a friend. Did he like me? I have no idea.